Okay, so without further ado, here is my entire life story in about 30 seconds. So, I was scrolling for Netflix as a kid because I was more than one to watch things and I found this show called Glitter Force. And there is a girl with a pretty pink hair. So, of course, I started to watch it and I immediately became my number one favorite show of all time. And I watch it at preschool, kindergarten, nursery, school, and first grade. I kind of forgot about it during second grade. Tried to rewatch it in third grade, but only got two episodes a few years ago. I got a bit back into Glitter Force again. But this time, I know how to Google search. So I was in Google searching things about Glitter Force, and I found out that it was a dub. <gasps> Of this anime called Smire Precure? <gasps> and they changed all the names? <gasps> How could I not have noticed that? So yeah, now I am a big weave of Pretty Cure. Now, and I know the truth about Glitter Force. And what does it talk about a disaster that this dub is? I felt so ba bad saying that it was a disaster because this dub is part of my childhood. But at the same time, Dory Explorer is also part of my childhood. So let's talk about some things who can make Glitter Force like an absolute disaster and why it is frowned upon for the whole entire Pretty Cure fandom. So, with this being said, let's start the video. Okay, so to start things off, they literally changed their names of every single character in the show, and I will understand. If their name sounds a, a little bit just like in the Japanese names, like in Glitter Force Doki Doki. Uh, they're a character called Makoto. Oh, um, one more thing. If I should say any of those Japanese names wrong, I'm sorry. But anyways, there is a character named Makoto, and she is changed to Mackenzie. And I said that this is a decently good switch. But in this one, Maguki to Emily, Akan to Kel, see, Yayo to Lily, Nile, yes. I definitely said it wrong to April and Rika to, I forgot about her name, Chloe. What? Oh my god. They also changed their names of the magical girls. So they're changing it from cure to glitter. Why it's so girly? But here is some much even more creative cure happy to glitter lucky. And can I just said that really? Oh my, Mayuki is such an a lucky person. There was a entire episode about it. It was ridiculous. I'm not going to get into the other one. There didn't dub eight episodes and why? It's because one of them is a bit understandable for being a little um inappropriate hammer licking, but the other ones, I don't know about all of them, but it's like one is just about crush. Okay, some of them have Japanese. Okay, no child w will actually care. One is a emotional story of Yara's father. Do you know how many people will have loved to see this? The story um, the story cared relative to themselves that, oh my, everybody will have loves this. The worst thing 
the show is dumb. And another reason why I'm so mad is just because Pretty Cure is a show that gets me into the motions. I cry four times during a episode of Cure, Cure, Pure Cure, a la mode. Happiness Church is one of my favorite seasons because of how emotional emotional it is and it was so sad that's one of the best things about pretty cure is taking away in the season and don't get me started about these endings those endings are so bad i had and and i title chat with my friends about how much bad those are the endings are so bad it's and uh, embarrassing look for netflix the endings are so bad they deserve their own rant sessions in this video so where do i even begin look at those models what the flip are they like they just don't show f factional emotions and it was weird. It's just plain weird and very, very weird. Some of the dances are super weird and a little bit disturbing. I'm so sorry. I need to grace your eyes to this. I apologize so, so much. I will give them the credit where the credit is due. The songs actually are not horrible. There are some, but I'm definitely like, yeah. Those are not too great, but there are some songs that I definitely do think are catchy. So don't get me wrong. I'm not... Not saying that there are better than the Pretty Cure songs. The Pretty Cure songs have dominated, dominated this universe. There are some of my favorites, despite how much I am ranting about how absolutely terrible this dub is. I will get the credit. I will say that there is one very big positive about it. It is this okay. So I know how confusing this sounds, but hear me out. A ton of, a ton and a mean a ton of people in the Pretty Cure franchise know about Pretty Cure because of Glitter Force. It was starting roots of a, a lot of, of the Pretty Cure franchises. The fandom without Glitter Force, the fandom will not be nearly as big as it is today. And without Glitter Force, I would not be watching my favorite shows. So, despite how crappy you are, you did do great for this world. Just a little bit. So, to sum everything up, Glitter Force is terrible. It was unnecessary at all. It didn't need it to exist. And despite all the negatives that it got from the Pretty Cure fandoms, there is a sequel! Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually didn't write a script for this video. I wing the whole thing. You must have been able to tell. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. I'll make a lot more Pretty Cure videos. And also, I make Invader Zim videos. Undertale, Skinario, and Steven Universe. So yeah, bye!